Before you start a project, you want to know what the return on investment is. If it's a small scale project, you can do the calculation in your head. If it's a large scale project, you have to write it down so you can share it with others, especially the ones paying for it. A small project would be like when you make a special dish for Thanksgiving for the family. You figure out the recipe, go shopping to purchase the ingredients, in the process spending time and money. Then you cook the dish. Finally, you serve up the dish for the family to enjoy. The return on that investment is valuable family time that includes good conversation, the joy of sharing, and a full stomach. The ROI can be estimated in your head. A large project would be like when you are implementing an AI solution for a business problem, like building a computer vision system to automatically recognize and classify hailstorm damage on rooftops for insurance claims. Here, you'll have to invest in a drone that flies over rooftops, a high resolution video camera, storage systems for data, and training people. Then you develop the system by writing the algorithms and creating models. Finally, during operations, you have people control the drones, capture the video, feed it into the database, classify the damage, and send it for damage estimate. The return on that investment is happier customers and operational efficiency, among other things. This drone project is likely to lead to others down the line. So before you start any AI project, you must have an AI strategy so you can incrementally build upon your systems implementations and experiences. How do you think about ROI for an AI implementation in a structured way? Here's a simple framework. Let's use the drone example. Here are some benefits. Increased customer satisfaction because their concerns are addressed quickly. Reduced risk of injury to the appraiser because he doesn't have to climb on the roof. Reduced cost per inspection due to automation. Reduced risk of missing damage since a drone can cover more areas. Increased scalability as we can inspect more roofs with more drones. Faster inspection process. Faster claims handling because of automation. Reduced fraud because location of the house can be matched with the drone coordinates. Increased brand value due to use of cutting edge technology. Better use of data by consolidating it to find patterns. For the cost side, we have immediate and recurring costs like hardware and storage, data analytics, software development, training operators and employees, some job loss, process changes, and maintenance. But what's so special about AI projects? So here are some additional considerations. Gathering relevant data, aggregating data from multiple systems, labeling it, standardizing it, and analyzing it. Maintain the model with continuous tuning hyperparameters, managing older versions of the model, keeping a record of the data that was used to create the model, and manage the full life cycle. We cannot simply set and forget. Invest in tools and processes that can explain how AI came to the conclusion that it did. We want to understand that. Collaborate with people who have domain knowledge to engineer the features for the system. This is crucial for the development of good models. Assemble a cross-functional team of business, technical, operations, and strategy experts. Make decisions on how to implement the system, like buy versus build. A lot of options are available for code, data, and computing. Open source, cloud, external data, business value, etc. 
Adapting agile practices is critical because AI projects will change fast and we have to adapt as fast. Here are some best practices for implementing AI. Ultimately focus on delivering the best customer experience. Take time to educate the organization, upper management, and business functions that AI development and deployment is complex and requires changes in the organization. Understand that AI ML is complex and it takes time for data architecture, feature engineering, model training, and results generation in the real world. Set the right expectations. Do AI implementations for the right problems and reasons. Establish KPIs for the AI project. Perform risk assessment and reevaluate at regular intervals. Perform infrastructure analysis for the organization to see if the current infrastructure can handle the AI solutions or new infrastructure is needed. Have daily stand-ups to keep leadership informed. Stay in constant communication with the IT and systems engineers to make sure that the infrastructure, processes, architecture, design, and requirements meet the needs of the AI deployment. Bring in data scientists to validate the feasibility of the business approach. Start with pilot projects to achieve success and publicize your success to gain potential to scale. Fully understand the business problem before determining the models. Evaluate your data carefully because more data does not always translate to better results. Expect to continuously fine tune the models and expect new features to be added as the project evolves and stakeholder needs change. Always consider AI solutions in the context of digital transformation. Getting a good understanding of the ROI is difficult, but should be done nevertheless. This exercise alone will help set good boundaries so that the projects won't run amok. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to this channel where I discuss AI and architecture. Thank you. This video was created in collaboration with Mehran Idmosa over at MZI Aviation.